Police in the UK have arrested 11 people in connection with the online racial abuse of three black English football players following the team's performance in the Euro 2020 final last month. All but one are men and range in age from 18 to 63 years old, police said. Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho and Bukayo Saka were targeted on social media after the national team's penalty shootout defeat to Italy on July 11th. English football's governing body, England manager Gareth Southgate and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson condemned the abuse at the time, along with other high-profile figures, while a campaign grew for social media companies to step up their efforts against online hate on their platforms. The UK Football Policing Unit, the UK FPU, which is conducting a hate crime investigation into the incidents, said in a statement on Thursday that it had received more than 600 reports of racist comments being sent to England's black players after the match. Police judged 207 of the posts identified to be criminal in nature. They have identified 34 accounts belonging to individuals in the UK. 11 of those accounts holders have now been arrested. UK FPU said it was awaiting data from social media companies on the remaining 50 account holders. It also identified 123 accounts belonging to individuals outside the UK. Details of those individuals will be handed to relevant authorities to act, UK FPU said. Chief Constable Mark Roberts, National Police Chief's Council Football Policing um, lead, said the investigation was proceeding at pace. And he said, there are people out there who believe they can hide behind a social media profile and get away with posting such abhorrent comments Robert said, and he said more, he said, they need to think again. We have investigators proactively seeking out abusive comments in connection to the match, and if they meet a criminal threshold, those posting them will be arrested. The majority of the arrests were made on suspicion of um, malicious communication or breaching sex. Section 127 of the Communications Act 2003. Section 127 sets out UK law on improper use of the country's public electro electronic communications network, which includes sending messages deemed to be grossly offensive, indecent or menacing. Those found guilty of malicious communications offences face a maximum penalty of two years in prison, while Section 127 breaches can result in imprisonment for up to six months. Information on the arrests came after players from all 20 of England's uh, Premier League football clubs announced they would continue to take the knee ahead of games this season in a show against racism. Well, GB News will love that. The Premier League said it wholeheartedly supported the decision, adding that footballers and match officials will continue to wear a no room for racism badge on their shirts. Players and staff have been taken a knee before kickoff since the league returned to action in June last year. Pockets of England fans booed their players for performing the gesture in warm-up matches ahead of Euro 2020 and again before an early tournament game against Croatia. We feel now more than ever it is important for us to continue to take the knee as a symbol of our unity against all forms of racism, the Premier League players said in a statement. The English Football League, the EFL, said it would back any players and staff across its three divisions who want to take the knee during the 2021-2022 season, calling it a simple act of protest that helps shine a light on the global anti-racist movements. And when they get booed, they obviously have this a lot at home that needs to understand. The EFL's Championship League 1 and League 2 kick off this weekend, while the Premier League begins on August 13th with promoted Brentford hosting Arsenal. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.